Hey guys, in this video, it's another video, in this video I'm going to look at fluid and bucket transfers, using specifically using mechanism and create. Now, this was very complex problem. And uh, I could uh, do it in a number of ways, but specifically it had to work with milk, and it seems there's a problem with create. Um, and it's tagging of milk fluids because they don't mix with mechanism milk fluids. <clears throat> and I guess in generally Minecraft milk fluids, they must have some strange conversion there but anyway so it didn't work um and after some lateral thinking exercises with some pr friends i came up with this so that we can um use the mechanism storage fluid storage and then potentially interface that with other storage fluid storage and buckets Interface, fluids, and buckets. Buckets and fluids. So what do we got? All right. On this side, on the left-hand side, I can put in... I can put in our milk buckets. And you'll see? It's going in, but it's going out because I left something in a strange state. So, we can add more. <clears throat> and then levels increasing. 2,000 millibuckets, 3,000 millibuckets. Okay, so how do we do this? We set um, a deployer to have, to use milk buckets. And so when it it's going to it's going to pull in milk buckets and use them on a fluid tank, which is great. That puts the milk in there, and then it's going to be left with an empty bucket, which our logistical sorter here is told to channel away. So we end up with end end empty buckets in here. Fantastic. Now on the other side, how do we get the fluid that we've stored in our tanks back into buckets? Okay, well, much the same. We have um, a, deploy a deployer set to use empty buckets on our tank. And it's fed them from here. And we have a logistical sorter set to channel milk buckets away. But I've set this up to do it on demand with uh, and, and, and use an adjustable crate here to control the buffer <clears throat> on our output. So when we press the button, we want, uh, we want our milk buckets. We're actually going to get two because of the number of ticks that a button works with these storage. You have to use a pulse repeater. But... Um, See in action. It's going to use our buckets. It's got free space for them now. And there they are. Two more milk buckets. Mm. Awesome. And so we can channel this away with pipes and to and from other storage as well. And... Uh, I only have one of the other of these interfaces, of course. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Till next time, thanks for watching.